ka ICA ka pinkre ya ka lawai jong phi na ka binta ka tuition but coaching ka bhata mi phi yasno but ka ICA mintri rang ba ka jalla u kandar kangal sangma ulong bakidan ki jaka khapod balai thu kum ki jaka baya kenan hendri dalawat but ti binya lalap bakumba arpo ne laipo pasan kim dan setia ki jinga kenan Hadin ke jing kran ka ba arsin ha pring ki armot ki mentri rangba kata jong ka jilla Meghalaya par ka jilla Assam ban sang pen bet no e khapot ha nai tung ban nai lar ma ta usnam ka sarkar MDE kala ya chakmat ban bodin ringkat bar ki regional border committee ha ba kran ma gilap thai kbor hadin ka jinglang bar ki regional border committee u kanrat ulong ba ki dandru ki jaka ki ba e ban pen bet bar ki badan kam ban phliu jumot ba namar ka sarkar kam kwa ban ya khle lang Hendai ban pendana shwa ye gijing e basa pen bait kawai hadian kawai. Ulong ba kini gijing persang jong kasar kaar kalong ban pet da kawai kerkom ban pen bait yo pot usam. Da kaba war jing tebru kumno ki brio menta ki em ha kapot. Gijing sungo jan jong ki shaki bol sen shar ha kaba ulap ban rap shushu ba kasar kaar ka pet dru ye ki e ki bala don lupa bat ka e gijing long jing man kaba menta ha ki kapot bat la da don ki jaka ki bala ban pen bait suk da gijing hon lang. Umentri Ramba ulaya thu bak sarkar menta ka singi ha ka jinglang banikong bar ki RBC kelapa ni ke ai ke baki deputy commissioner kila alap ni kapot bar hadin bala ya tai sani bha ka sarkar ka sngo badang don kam shu banang ti binya kumno banya chakmat banla pen bet no ya ka jingya ka japot ba ka jala asam ulong balet si hadin bala dep ban bisar lut bar hadin bala kot ka dar bar liur jong ka jala kala ban don biang ru ka jingya kendu jong ki ar jala bat ka jinglet pet lang ya ki jaka kapot Haba kali konrat ulai thu bagi DC ke badai ke member sekretari ke komiti kelapan tip yak ai ke bagi lalap kum ke jingdan ki sinong ke basak ta kapot ke nong sang sinong katno ke badan sekaliang jong ke Meghalaya bat sekaliang jong ke Assam ke jingsim yak ke boarding ha ki sinong bat ke bai ke bai this is the first meeting after the committees were formed so the deputy commissioners were asked to give a presentation on their findings and more micro details about the different villages Uh, the different current status uh, of uh, different aspects that are there in those villages so each of the committees uh, where the member secretaries are the deputy commissioners uh, which is uh, ribhoy and um, west kasi hills and jenti hills specifically as of now east jenti hills so the reports were given the chairmen of those committees were also present and uh, we got to see and Uh, get much more details on this more exercise needs to be done because uh, there are many more other factors so basically today was really just a meeting to uh, take forward the entire process of uh, finding an amicable solution to the border differences that are there in uh, between uh, assam and meghalaya and uh, once uh, we have done our homework we will be having most probably another two to three sittings with these regional committees and these regional committees will of course have their own sittings also and uh, once i think after the session is over then there may be joint meetings and uh, and joint visits being done by those regional committees so as i said today was a very long meeting but it was uh, the crux of the meeting was basically to see the first report uh, that was prepared by the regional committees so there was no finding as such it's uh, basically uh, the report of the facts that are there Uh, it's too much in uh, micro detail. It goes into the uh, different kind of communities that are settled, the number of villages that are there, uh, you know, the administrative uh, convenience that is there in these villages, whether it's um, uh, you know uh, they are in the Meghalaya census or in Assam census, uh, whether they're taking power from our side or from uh, Assam side. So it's more of a, a detail on uh, the facts and uh, what the current status of those villages are. Uh, so really we went into those uh, details and of course our officials have made visits to these villages also and so we got uh, some kind of first hand feedback also as to the mindset of these villages but as i said there's the large number so it will not be possible for me to go into details but my point being that uh, uh, we are very serious about this and that's the reason why uh, we had this meeting today and we hopeful that we'll be able to take this forward and actually find a so an amicable solution mm -hmm. yes so basically the information that has come to us is that the uh, the notif the committees are ready and uh, should be notified in the next 24 hours to 48 hours so it is um, our, our notifications have already come out now we expect that maybe in the next uh, day or two we expect that uh, some notification will also come out as far as my knowledge goes uh, uh, all the uh, actual 
uh, homework has been completed and uh, the notifications are ready, just waiting for the final approval, uh, which again, as I said, uh, I will not be able to comment on the Assam site. But the information to me is that uh, in the next one or two days, it will be notified. Uh, we've been uh, mentioning from day one uh, is that um, this entire exercise that we're doing uh, will require us to really shift from our uh, old uh, stands and the old way of uh, really looking at this problem. This uh, entire process requires to uh, look at it from a different perspective and uh, find, uh, I should say, out-of-the-box solutions to these problems. So therefore, we have decided that we need to, of course, look at the historical facts. But then we also need to see the current situation uh, in which the people are staying. We need to see the kind of community and the ethnicity that is there. We need to see the administrative convenience uh, and the linkages that are present out there. Uh, we need to see the, what is the mood of the people in those areas, how the economic activities have been going on. So it's really uh, trying to see the holistic picture from the history point of view as well as the current status uh, point of view and try to see if there are uh, areas uh, where we may be able to agree without really having differences and decide that, uh, well, uh, you know, it is making a lot of sense and uh, uh, and trying to see uh, the, the common grounds that are there. And we strongly feel that there are such common grounds. We strongly feel that there are a lot of areas uh, that uh, we say are dispute, but actually when you go down to the micro details, we realize that actually there is no dispute in a large number of those areas. So we are hopeful that if not many, 20-30% of these villages where uh, we have been saying are under dispute, uh, we may find that actually there is no dispute in those. So that's the kind of area we're trying to look at. And then obviously there will be certain areas which have complications. We need to do more homework in that. And obviously there will be some areas which are very, very complicated, uh, which will require a bit more discussion. So we don't want to club the entire thing into one uh, problem, but rather break it down to smaller problems and find a solution. Which so I have, I, have I have been repeating this again and again. There are many factors. So we'll have to look at all those factors into the consideration and then only take a call. So referendum is maybe just one part of the whole thing. Referendum is a very simple word of seeing what the people's will is. But uh, as I said, that is one part of the factor that we'll look at. We'll look at ethnicity, we'll look at administrative convenience, uh, you know, we'll look at the historical facts. So we'll look at all of this and try to balance things out and take things forward.